A nightmare to be sure, horrific in every imaginable way. Mark Strassman joins us now from Chattanooga. And Mark, first of all, what can you tell us about the injured children who were transported to local hospitals? There are more than 20 of them, Josh, uh, and some are doing better than others, clearly. We, we have a little more information about the five children that did not make it. There was a kindergartner, a first grader, and three fourth graders. Uh, and this is just a, a community that is, it, it is just stunned, uh, overcome by, you know, grief and anger. And uh, as you can well imagine, I mean, these are kids going home from school. They didn't, and, and in the end, they really didn't have a chance. The bus was apparently uh, going too fast. And, uh, and there may have been other issues going on too. Investigators are taking a look at that as well. And it, it's just, it's just un unimaginable if you're a parent to think that you put a kid on a bus and you, and you trust that kid to come home safely. And, and in this case, it just didn't happen. There is no greater nightmare to be sure, Mark. Uh, the National Transportation Safety Board has sent a team now to Chattanooga. Do we know what their role is gonna be here? Oh, well, they're going to oversee the, the the investigation. They bring, as you know, uh, a level of expertise that the locals cannot. Uh, I, I can tell you one thing that uh, in the whole accident reconstruction uh, area, uh, th there's that, of course, but they'll also be looking at a camera that was on board the bus. Uh, that may also uh, uh, yield some information. Uh, I talked to a mother uh, this morning uh, named uh, Jasmine Mateen. She had three kids on the bus. Two of them were hurt. One of them was killed. She says that the driver had been driving erratically since August. She had repeatedly called the school, the school board, the local Department of Transportation complaining about that, got nowhere. She said the two kids, Josh, who survived the accident, told her that the driver said to the bus load of kids just before the accident, is everyone here ready to die? Is everyone here ready to die? There was, and if that is true, there was something going on on that bus that was, that was very, very wrong, and investigators will be taking a look at that as well. A level of heartbreak um, unimaginable. Mark Strassman there in Chattanooga. Mark, we, we thank you for your time.